welcome back, Half Lake Cocktails back here. Tonight we are shooting a redo or a, um, a reshoot, I guess, of our wine taste test we did of the gins. Um, if you didn't see it, you can watch it right here. Click that if you haven't watched it yet, right now, do it. Just kidding. Anyways, so what we did, if for those of you that don't know, um, what we did is we took three gins of three different price points. We have Caliber Gin, runs about $7 per fifth. You can find this at Walmart. Um, we have Beef Eater, which everyone pretty much knows, I'm sure that, you know, if you know anything about gin, you know Beef Eater. This one's about $23, uh, roughly 20 to 23 bucks. And then for our high, higher end brand, we have The Botanist. These are all dry gins. And if you saw our first video, you already know that. So, and you probably already know that anyway. So here we go. So what we've done tonight, so what we did for, what we do for these blind tastes is we'll taste them and kind of give our thoughts. And we mix all these up we so we don't know which is which. And then we have them labeled on the bottom. So then we rank them um, and kind of give our thoughts on them and try to guess which is which. And last time, so the results were, um, you know, we were, we had kind of a tough time choosing which is which. Um, they were all very good. So how we ended up doing it is our favorite one ended up being the botanist. And number two was actually surprisingly caliber. And um, number three ended up be, be, being beef eater. But they're all, they're all very good. And, you know, it was, it was really, really close. So what we've done is we have made, well, Shelby has made a gin gimlet. We've made these into cocktails tonight. So we're gonna see how each of them taste in the exact same cocktail, the gin gimlet, and see if which we enjoy better. I remember the, wasn't it the caliber? Had like minimal to no taste or burn. Yeah. And the really botanist, fun. the one that stood out to me, had the most different flavors, like particular flavors. So it'll be interesting Very, to yeah. try them each in the exact same cocktail and see which one we like best. The botanist kind of stood out because it had kind of the botanic, the botanicals really came out in that one. So um, what we did, we made the same cocktail, the gin gimlet, and we're gonna see if we can decipher which is which and kind of which one we like best. Okay. So, so do you want to try the first one? Yep. I love the gin gimlet. Gin. Gin. Gin Gimlet. Gin Gimlet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna sniff and then I'm gonna drink. It smells ginny, but not like... Like junipery or... Uh... I mean, I can smell the gin. Let me give this a, a whirl. As I feel I like said, the lemon good. in it is almost lime. like the lime. Yeah, I feel like the lime is almost like um. Mm. It's good. I don't really get much of the the gin, gin. is kind of very subtle in that one. Yeah. If you don't, obviously, a gin gimlet is um, gin, lime juice, and simple syrup. Um, and you know, in that one. I really don't get much of the gin. It just kind of tastes like lime. I get more of the yeah, lime flavor. Yeah, the sweet and the lime. Yeah. Yeah, I mm -hmm. kind of miss an extra flavor there because mm -hmm. it's like overwhelming almost. Like I feel like, well, I want to try this next to Mmm, similar, <laughs> not much. Not much going on there. How's that one? It's good. It's about the same. Okay. Hmm. I get more of the gin on that one, mm -hmm. definitely. Still not as spirit forward as you would think. Yeah. I mean, okay. Like I kind of, I'm kind of wanting something a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Spirit forward. Let's because try this last one and see. The lime and the the simple syrup are the star of the shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How's this guy? It's good. 
I think I know which one that Sample is. Sample number three. That's very, that's very, that's better. That's good. Isn't that good? Mm. Okay. All right, you. let's hear your verdict this time. Let's hear your um, I'm gonna guess go first. reverse, reverse reveal order from previous times. Okay. This one I enjoyed the most because you seem to be able to taste the um, gin a little bit more prominently, which makes me think it's the botanist. Okay. <sighs> okay. Mm. Okay, okay. This one I'm gonna say is caliber because it kind of just tasted like simple syrup and lime juice like you couldn't really taste the gin at all mm -hmm. and i remember that one was the least flavorful like okay. it had the least flavor okay this one i'm gonna say is the bottom or is this one i'm gonna say is beef eater, beef eater. okay so i definitely agree on this one this one i believe is probably the botanist because you get more of that gin flavor with it and um you can taste you know but it's a very well rounded um this one i was gonna say this one is um beef eater because i kind of i agree with shelby but i think that this one you get more of the gin flavor than this one i think this one i really kind of just got like the, the lime flavor the lime and the simple syrup flavor so let's do it let's check it out let's not make this one a 17 minute video too okay <laughs> what's that all one? right this one's caliber what <laughs> i'm not kidding are you kidding me no that's seven dollars seven dollars for a fifth okay that ha this always these taste tests always what? surprise me it's just crazy what's that one this one's botanist okay Okay. That's close. And beef eater. Yep. Yep. This yep. One's Process beef of eater. elimination. Three out of three. That's okay. the only one left. Yep. So I got it. I said that um, that one was beef eater. So I got that one correct. Right? Didn't I say that one was beef eater? No, no, no. I got this one. I got them all. We both got them all wrong. Yeah, we got them all we wrong. We both got them all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're experts. Experts. <laughs> but I mean, they're all okay. They're all good. Maybe you're. You don't know how you feel about gin. So you don't want something super strong, super in your face. I mean, it's not that you can't taste the spirits in these two by any means. I think this is kind of just a testament to how good this cocktail is. Exactly. This is just like cocktail pleases everybody. Yeah. I never really liked gin and one of the first cocktails that I, that brought me around to gin was the right. Gimlet. Yeah, and they're, yeah. They're all, I mean, they're all really good. Yeah. Again, again, none of them are bad. It's just this one, for whatever reason, this this one with beef eater, like I personally didn't think that the flavor really came through. So this might be, you know, it's the mid tier range, probably definitely the most popular brand out of the three. So, I mean, if you're really just getting into gin, maybe try the beef eater first. Um, I mean, yeah. and that way you don't have something that's gonna punch you right in the face with, right. with gin. I mean, that's crazy that, I think, we both liked that one the best, and this is Caliber. Yeah. This is the seven dollar. I think when I brand. make this drink, I usually use just the hair less simple syrup, anyways, and that's why it was a little sweet for all of them. Were like a little sweet for me. A little bit, yeah. Like I could just use, use like just because you went to hair. a tea, right? You went to yeah. a tea with the recipe, so yeah. so yeah. And I'll put the, I'll put the pretty sweet. and I'll put the recipe in the description because I don't think we've done a gin gimlet video yet. Yeah. Um, we've done the jasmine. Okay. Check out the jasmine. So how are we ranking these? What do you think? So obviously, oh. I guess we have to say, oops. We're still using our tasting board, even though it's caliber. Yeah, okay. Caliber, right? okay. So this one, I would say, was our favorite, I, I like guess. That one. It's crazy, right? That was number two on our blind taste. That's just the, the spirits only. Yeah. Um, number two. Let's put Beef Eater at number two, because I think that, you know, even though you don't get the gin coming through right away i mean it's still really really good drink. yeah um and then botanist i mean this one was really i mean they're all good it's it's another thing it's a really tough so what do you, what are your thoughts on this on the botanist i agree i think the botanist maybe maybe i'm kind of learning more now maybe the higher end gins are the kind of thing you kind of just sit 
on the rocks or something because you can really appreciate the and I'm not notes each, like a really good whiskey. Especially if you're gonna yeah. buy one. This, I mean, the, this, a fifth of this is $40. I mean, you can't just buy this anywhere. It's pretty much, you have to go to like a big liquor store. So you're like going probably specifically to buy this. A lot of people that get that probably aren't necessarily putting it in a gimlet. Yeah. I could be wrong, I don't know. But anyway, very interesting, very interesting, interesting results. And we just kind of wanted to kind of see how, when you put it into a cocktail, it kind of matches up because, you know, we're not really sitting around drinking gin straight. And, you know, it's a good, it's a good base to just do it straight to just kind of see, um, you know, in its original form, how, you know, it compares, especially at different price points. Cause uh, we've done two, well, I guess technically it's just three. So we've done two spirits for our blind taste test and each time, I mean, the, the results have been, the results have surprising. been really surprising. Yeah. So it's really interesting. So anyway, so take the, take with this information what you will. I'd be interested to see if anyone else wants to try this. I mean, I'd be interested to see kind of what you think. Let us know what you think below. Let us know if you think we're crazy or if you agree or if you have any solid information to add to this. Or that any would be, like recommendations, any recommendations to like be good. good gins for this cocktail or in general. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. And also definitely check out our Instagram at Half Lake Cocktails. And we'll see you next time.